Ten, awesome. Yeah. Oh, this is a hard decision. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they're really funky. I think I might go with the green one. That one? Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, maybe I should. <laughs> it's so hard. Oh, I think I will go for the green one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank so you. Let's... Okay, so these are the Kaki Mori inks and pens. This is a cool caddy. Next stop, that store. Thank 
Hey everyone, thank you so much for tagging along with me to Carousel and window shopping and cafe journaling with me. It was really fun, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I got. I know I'm on a nose pen, but I actually just bought a few things. I bought two uh, pens, three pen refills, and an eraser. And I think that's a pretty conservative amount considering there was so much amazing stuff around me. Uh, but I bought two of these multi pens. These are the Uni Jetstream More Black multi pens and I love anything Uni Jetstream. Uh, my first exposure to the Uni Jetstream was actually from Hobonichi. This is the f usually the free pen that comes with the Hobonichi, except this version is, is a little bit more sleek. And I really like the design of this more black uh, Jetstream because I don't know, it just looks more chic to me but um this is actually a really cool pen because if you primarily write with black ink which i do when i use these pens um this might be a better fit for you because the ink refill for the black um like multi-pen portion of this pen actually has 70 percent more ink than the regular jet streams which is nice because if you primarily write in black and you just use the red and blue for accents um you won't go through as much like black ink that as you normally would because it has 70 percent more black ink um but i actually own one of these already i own the berry pink colorway um it wasn't my immediate first choice so when i saw that amex 1912 started carrying the other colors i knew i had to get them and i'm used to the 0 0.5 nib of these pens um i think they write fantastically and dare i say it's my favorite pen to write with when it's not a fountain pen it, that sounds kind of controversial honestly but i love my gel ink but there's just something so smooth about this writing experience and i love that it just like dries quickly doesn't really smudge you can write on multiple surfaces it doesn't have to be like a certain type of paper um and ballpoint ink is just you know it's more oily and dry which you know might be not the best for some people but i actually don't mind it um and honestly the jet stream ink is very smooth um almost gel like uh but as you can see i wanted to compare and contrast the 0 0.7 um tip and the 0 0.5 tip and i still like the 0 0.5 so i bought three refills to replace the olive um pen refills with 0 0.5 because it's my preferred nib uh, but yeah, that was the short story for why I bought these two pens. They're my daily drivers. One's going to be my pencil case. One is going to be at school. And then one is going to be on my desk. So I, I now have three. And then I briefly showed you the Mount Fuji eraser, which is a fun um, eraser from the Plus brand. And you can actually see a little like mountain top um appear the more that you use that eraser but it's my first time owning one of those so i'm excited and this was the special like sakura um edition so that's why it's pink but yeah that's my little haul um let's look at the goodies that i got from kakimori so i received three lovely items from kakimori via bukins bukans buckins which is one of the new pronunciations i learned about while googling how to pronounce bukin or bukans um but 
long story short, I kind of discussed it in the vloggy portions in the subtitles. But actually, um, a few months ago, I've been hunting down Kakimori items because I wanted this specific stainless steel nib, which you can see right now, um, because it's incredible um, for ink swatching and writing with various inks. I actually broke my plastic glass pen, which is so ironic because I thought it was going to be indestructible because I knew that I couldn't trust myself with a glass pen. Um, but I thought a plastic one would last, but no, that broke too. <laughs> but I thought this would be an amazing alternative. But when I was looking a few months ago for a local retailer, I couldn't find any. There were a few places around Canada that was selling it, but I wanted to find it locally just because of shipping and whatnot. Um, but I ended up reaching out to Hugo from Buchan's and I was asking if they carried it, but they didn't. But they were actually really excited to look into it more. And so Yugo actually ended up contacting Kakimori and ended up um, asking if they can order from them and carry them in their shop. And they were really excited because they wanted, you know, to find more Canadian retailers to sell Kakimori. So I was part of the process and it was super exciting. And Yugo was so kind enough to ask Kakimori if they could give me a little gift because of uh, my little uh, recommendation uh, or I guess more like a, a question or qu query um, if if they would be carrying it and so um, Kakimori yeah agreed to send me a little item via Buchan's which is so kind of them and thank you so much Kakimori I doubt that they're watching this I don't think they even know who I am um, but um, it was so kind of Yugo and Buchan's to actually ask for a little thank you gift um, for me which is again so kind so they gave me three items the the stainless steel nib which I've been wanting for so long and then this beautiful beautiful nib holder um this is sakura wood um uh yeah this is a sakura wood holder so it's made out of cherry blossom wood which is so beautiful it's very smooth and very lightweight and um if you're wondering um this nib holder is a standard nib holder so if you have any calligraphy um like nib holders or like any nib holders that have a universal like not feed i guess holding system um you can use this uh kaki mori st stainless steel nib with that but uh i was excited because i wanted you know the sakura wood because it it just looks so luxurious and such nice quality so um i'm so happy that i have that and then i was able to choose one ink that i liked and so i chose the number five kurun group I think it's, yeah, it's a green ink. Um, it's a lovely forest green shade. This is actually a pigment ink, so it is not a water-based ink. Uh, or it might be a water-based ink, but it's not the usual water-based inks that we see in fountain pen um, inks. This is actually a little bit more not damaging but you have to be really careful about using this ink in a fountain pen because it could dry out more easily it has to be a pen that you use daily and like probably clean out frequently um but yeah it's a lovely ink and i think it's a great ink to use with this dip pen because it's so saturated and i love this green shade i don't have anything like this it's a little bit more of a a forest green which is again part of the green family that i love i love a good olive green i also love a good chartreuse or like an olive oil green but forest green is definitely up there i think i wear a lot of forest green so it has a little soft spot uh, in my heart but as you can see the main i mean appeal of this um nib is that it can do so many things you can do a wide swatch and you can also write with it in a little bit more of a thin line so the line variation that you get with this is amazing and when i say line variation it's not like line variation with calligraphy nibs in which you would press harder to get a thicker line for this nib you just have to change the angle in which you're writing with it so when you're writing with it at a 45 degree angle you get a pretty um pretty fine line i would say it's pretty much a broad nib in terms of fountain pens or if you're looking for um like a millimeter comparison i would say it's a good like one like yeah a one millimeter um like gel pen so it's a little bit thicker than you know the smaller 0.38s or or the 
0.5s or 0.7s that we're accustomed to, but it really depends on how much ink um, you have um, dipped into the nib, if that makes sense, because there are these little grooves that kind of hold on to the ink, as well as the angle in which you're writing with. But as you can see, you can get such a beautiful swatch, and I have been trying to find a way to swatch my inks in like uh, a more eco-friendly way because uh, I have been using uh, cotton swabs, but you know that you end up throwing away cotton swabs after, and it just seems a little bit wasteful. And you also have to deal with all of the fibers in uh, the cotton swabs. And so this metal nib just seems so much more ideal in many ways. And it's also not made out of glass, so I can't break it as easily. So I'm so stoked to have this in my like ink swatching arsenal. And I do want to use it more for like general journaling because I have a lot of lovely fountain pen inks, but they're not all inked up all the time. But now I just wanted to show you that I made one swatch with one dip of that ink and then I wrote the name of the ink and then now I'm just doing a test to see how much I can write with one dip and holy crap, I wrote so much. I'm like still going and you'll see in a little bit. I ended up thinking that there was no more ink left and then I just like turned the pen um, slightly and then there was more ink on the other side of the nib because it is a circular nib and so you can see right here i'm like oh no there's no more ink and then surprise there was still more i could still swatch all of this ink and oh my mind was blown i'm so excited about it but yeah this is such a cool innovative product and i'm so glad that you can purchase it um locally here in vancouver now but yeah let's um let's get some journaling done and i'll let um future job continue with the voiceover thank you hall voiceover job this is journaling voiceover job now and i am going to start this journaling session or at least continue this journaling session by completing an ink swatch of my new kaki mori ink and, and also use my kaki mori nib and nib holder to do a little bit of journaling about you know the new kaki mori goodies that i have and it was actually really nice to use uh the kaki mori nib um, in a journal spread it's actually really practical and it's actually so nice to kind of have this in my journaling arsenal when i want to use like a fun ink that i don't have um, inked up in a fountain pen so i'll definitely keep that in my like journaling repertoire or like skills bank um <laughs> when i need to but as you can see a lot of the journaling has been done for us because past job did some lovely cafe journaling and honestly i'm just gonna say this again i've already said it in like the subtitles of the vloggy portions of this video but journaling outside that bakery slash cafe was so nice and relaxing it felt like everything was gonna be fine the world <laughs> was good everything was good i know it's easy to to get distracted and to be quite negative about you know life and everything that's happening but during that time i just felt so much gratitude and happiness and it felt like you know there was so many amazing possibilities ahead of me i mean there still are but i don't know i'm very quick to be a little bit negative sometimes and so i definitely need to um, channel whatever I was feeling during that time more often because I felt so so alive and so grateful and yeah it's I guess it's another um, reminder for me to exercise some gratitude but while I was <laughs> um, gushing over my my journaling experience um, I actually added you know a little found ephemera I actually cut out the packaging for my uni jet stream pen and I think it looks fantastic there it looks like the pen's actually just resting on the page and then I only use stationery and stickers that were that were in my TN because I wanted to kind of continue that cafe journaling vibe because this journal spread was started at the cafe and I wanted to look I wanted it to look like I completed it at the cafe. Obviously, we're using, you know, stamps and I didn't have any stamps or stamp pads with me, but I just wanted to kind of carry that theme over and try to use minimal supplies. So I didn't really use any um, extra washies or anything. I only used the stuff that was in my TN and then I cheated with some uh, wooden stamps for the number uh, 09, which was the date for that day. And then I added some 
um, some lovely star stamps just to add you know that signature i don't know maybe it's not signature but i feel like i always add a few stars in my journal spread so i wanted to keep it a little bit cohesive and add a few stars here and there um, but now I'm just finishing that little uh, doodle of the Kakimori nib, nib holder, and ink. And I could have used my Windsor and Newton palette that I used when I was journaling, but I was too lazy to get up. I was so comfy journaling on the on the floor at my coffee table, uh, and I didn't want to go upstairs to pick up my um, Windsor and Newton newton travel palette but um it gets the same job done and i tried my best to kind of get the same sketchy uh watercolor doodle look as uh, my initial doodle on the right hand side of the spread and then weirdly i decided to do my journaling using my micron pen it's a waterproof pen and it's the main pen that i use when i'm like cafe journaling and actually doodling um, because it's waterproof and I can actually paint over top of it without it bleeding everywhere. Uh, but I just decided to use that just because I wanted the ink color to be cohesive with all of the doodles. Um, I could have definitely used my Kakimori nib, but I just wanted to keep it cohesive with the doodles that I have. And I already have my ink swatch there with the Kakimori nib, and I thought that would suffice. Um, and I think it looks pretty cohesive. There's you know different shades of green um, on this spread which i love and then there's little pops of yellow in the lemon bar and also the little red and blue on the little knock of the pen um uh, packaging that i cut out but yeah this is the completed spread i had so much fun taking you along to carousel with me as well as hauling all of my items this was actually like a three-in-one video we did some vlogs we did some hauling and we did some journaling so let me know if you like this format of um i guess video and let me know what you'd like to see on this channel because i honestly am getting a little bit uh stump stumped St stuck there you go i was getting a little bit stuck with video ideas so if there's anything that you'd like to see on the channel uh let me know what you'd like to see and again leave down a comment down below um letting me know if you would like to try and use a kakimori nib for your ink swatching I, I, or honestly for your journaling as well uh, i would genuinely love to know but that's it folks i love you so much please take care and i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.